Hey kittens, Silver here with Gino, the Deluxe Husky by Douglas Cuddle Toys. And we have a little package here, a perfectly cubicle package um, that arrived courtesy of Jeannie's Cottage, uh, which is a website that I discovered uh, probably a few months back. And she has a lot of hidden gems there, um, certain plush that are no longer in stock that she somehow still uh, manages to uh, sort of keep in her inventory. Um, and this particular plush was one that I had never actually seen in person other than just a stock photo. So I'm very, very curious to see what this little puppy is going to look like in person. So I'm going to get this box open and share him or her with you shortly. Okay, the tape has been cut and all systems are go. And I do not know why it is so terribly blurry right now. It looks like... <laughs> Was this work? Okay, is that working? There we go. Like we have glaucoma here or something. Okay, this is really bizarre why it's... Um, <laughs> why the camera just is refusing to focus. Um, so let me see. Hopefully if we do a nice zoom, it'll fix this problem. Um, okay, so this is probably just the receipt here. And I'm already seeing a lot of fluff, which is what I expected based on the breed of this dog. So let me just... Alright. Okay. So this is going to be uh, a plush by the Gans Company. It's part of their Heritage Collection. Oh boy. <laughs> and again, this is a plush that um, that I've never seen in person. Um, I think it was probably discontinued who knows when, um, but I was really intrigued. I sort of developed a, an interest for this uh, breed in particular when I saw a, a Douglas version. Um, the Douglas one, of course, is retired as well, but I found this and was highly intrigued. So this is going to be a Pekingese puppy. Um, and as you can see, there's that sort of luxuriously long coat, which is oh so soft. So let's take a look and see. <laughs> look at this. Look at this little guy. He's so cute and grumpy looking. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. My, my camera is so bad right now. And I have no idea why. It's so blurry. Ah, let me see if I can fix this up for you guys. Hold on a sec. Okay, we are back on track. I have no idea why it was doing that, but let me just move Gino a bit so we can give this little guy his moment in the limelight. Oh my goodness, look at the face. It is so cute and it looks, it does look just like a Pekingese puppy. Oh my gosh, and it's so, so soft. I mean, I love long-haired plush just in general, uh, as I know I've probably mentioned in previous videos. Uh, and this guy is has just so much character, so uniqueness. He's such a cute little grump. <laughs> Look at him. So he's probably, I would say, uh, like an off-white color rather than a pure white. And he's got this little... The tail's like a little stub, but it, it has the appearance of being longer just because of all the fur. Look at these long ears with the brown tips on the bottoms. And he's got the brown around the muzzle. And he has a black plastic nose. And I see some airbrushing around his eyes, which look to be a dark brown. And a little bit of airbrushing right here between the eyes as well. And he's really, really squishy and soft as... Uh, you could probably, as my little demonstration here might sort of give you an idea of. And he's got these cute little claw marks, which are also airbrushed. And here's his hang tag in his ear, the Heritage Collection by Gans. Um, let's see if I can, if I can uh, <laughs> excavate this, um, this tush tag underneath all the fur. Let me see. There we go. It says, get your hands on a Gans. <laughs> oh boy, he's gonna need a good grooming though. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna brush him up quick so that uh, 
so that he looks even better. Hold on. Okay, so here he is after a quick brushing. Um, and as I said, he's just got the cutest little grumpy face. Um, he also has a little black thread mouth. As you can hopefully see, it's kind of a cloudy overcast day, so the lighting isn't ideal, but <laughs> when is it ever? Um, and uh, the fur is just so, so nice to touch. Uh, he does shed quite a bit, as I found after my little brief uh, brushing session with him. Um, but, you know, given the length of it, it's not all that surprising. Um, so, yeah, this this is definitely a, a plush that I did not have on my radar before. And I'm really glad, actually, that I, that I did end up spotting him. He was the last one that was available on the website. So um, chances are I probably wasn't going to get another chance to, uh, to snag this little guy. And he is definitely going to fill my sort of uh, that, that void in my life where a Pekingese was needed. So that's my little guy. And I'm definitely going to have to rack my brain to come up with, uh, with a good name for him. So any suggestions would also be welcome and appreciated. Uh, so that's my, uh, my new little Gans Pekingese. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you with some more plush goodness next time. Bye, everybody!